I don't know. I think there's a lot to, to get out of it. And also, if you just like laugh and, and think that it's funny and nostalgic and and all that, I'm totally fine with that, too. Like, you know, I, I think any any combination of that stuff is good for me. And has Kurt and Tom seen the film? They have. Oh, yeah, yeah. They have and they love it. I mean, it was that's that's our thing. You know, with, with the docs we make, we've made a lot of docs about people who aren't you know, famous people, they don't exist in the media. That's not their world. But, you know, we want to be able to sit down and watch our films with our subjects and have them love them and laugh and feel good about what it is. And they both, I mean, they both had a great, I mean, they're coming to the Tribeca. They're coming to the Tribeca. And I think right. they're, they're both bringing like 15, 20 people with them. So it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be crazy. They're into it. That's awesome. And to tell me, where do you go from Tribeca? Are you going the whole festival circuit? Yeah, we'll do. I mean, we will we'll immediately, you know, our, our our immediate goal will be to start trying to find a place to distribute the film or parlay the film again into some kind of series or something like that that I mentioned. But we will play more festivals. Yeah. I mean, I think that um, I don't have any that I can uh, announce at the moment, but that'll all be also uh, on the website and stuff like that on the Facebook last week and Facebook. Did you have any material that, that was too sensitive that you had to leave out? No, not really. I mean, I, I don't, it, it really wasn't, you know, I don't know, again, you know, you're talking about the band were, I, I believe, pretty protective of certain things as well. So while the, while the MTV people did, you know, while Richard did get a lot of access, you know, you, even what you mentioned, you're like, you know, there's, there's the stories that, that MTV wanted to show you. And there's even another layer of stuff, right? you know, in this, in this raw footage. And there's another layer of stuff to where the cameras didn't go. Right. Know? So, I mean, you, you get a sense of that through the, through the interviews for okay. sure but you know not in terms of the footage uh, you know it's nothing that would that's incriminating or you know nothing like that absolutely do you do you get the feeling i mean the, the overall feeling from the contest was it was like every teenage boy's dream type of thing and do you get the feeling that it that it worked out that way for those guys yeah, I do, because I think that at least, you know, the way it's presented, you know, through Kurt and Tom and the way that it looks in the footage, I mean, that the band, like, really sort of embraced the idea. You know, I mean, they were they they were among the more, like, they understood how MTV could benefit them, and MTV understood how Van Halen could benefit MTV, right? So they were all in. You know, they were like, you know, we're going to do this, we're going to give this fan this experience, and we're going to do it on camera so that it looks like we're giving the band this experience, or giving the fan this experience. And I think that, that they you know, behaved like friends to those two guys for, you know, 48 hours or whatever. And so, yeah, so I do think that it translated into being a real dream, you know, for a Van Halen fan because they got to really hang out with the band, you know, and really be there. Not not like, again, these promotions you mentioned earlier where, you know, you, you pay however much money, you go sit in a room and then the, the band comes in for five minutes, sits down, shakes your hand, signs something and then leaves. Right. Now, these guys were like there. I mean, they, right. were, they were there with them hanging out backstage and doing the whole thing. So, yeah, definitely. Absolutely. How much input did Kurt and Tom have into the film? Uh, beyond their interview, I mean, they, they, you know, we just went and interviewed with them, spent a couple days with them. I mean, we let them watch a cut when it was finished, but they, you know, they, there was not, they loved, I mean, they loved the film. So really, other than, than them providing the stories and, you know, like being the basis for the film, that's it. Did they say anything like, we want this in there or we don't want this in there? We're really not interested in talking about this or, you know, any, any concerns on their part? No, no. Uh, they, you know, they, they trusted us. And, and I think that we, you know, we, 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 we made something that they were both uh, happy with. So no, it was all good. Awesome. Well, it sounds fantastic. We look forward to the film coming out. Lost Weekend, co-directed by Bradford Thomason. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. And we wish you best Absolutely. of luck going forward with the film. Yeah, and I will say that if anyone's in New York, you know, it's screening on May 1st, it's screening on May 3rd, and on May 4th. So there are three opportunities beyond the world premiere to see the film. One of them is free. I think the Friday the 3rd is free. So if you're in the New York area, uh, check out Tribeca's website and you can see uh, where Lost Weekend is screening. Awesome. That sounds great. Whoa! How about that for Rock Video Music fans? Live all day, all night. You know what you need only right here on Dave TV. Check us out on Facebook at Dave and Dave Unchained, a Van Halen podcast. On Twitter at DD Unchained. On Instagram at DD Unchained Podcast. And you can email us at DD Unchained Podcast at gmail.com. You gotta know when to say when, man. <laughs> you know, like, cause, like, these guys are just like, they won't leave the fucking stage. They won't do it. I mean, I, and he said, Ozzy, he goes, Ozzy's got more money than God. What is he? 
Like Ozzy's worth probably over 150 million. I mean, it's like, what do you need? Even his wife earns a lot of money. I mean, she's on daytime television and stuff. 